So we are on to the next panel, which is a kind of a city spotlight focus on uh, both the city of Uch and the country of Moldova. And uh, we will start with the city of Uch. Adam Pustelnik is the uh, newly appointed deputy mayor of Uch. And congratulations again, Adam. Um, we, I think you've got a lot of congratulations via LinkedIn. So happy to say this to you uh, live today. Um, congrats. And um, the floor is yours. Take us through a bit of what is going on in Uch. A lot is going on, uh, but um, over to you to give us an insight. Uh, thank you very much, Tom, for this kind introduction. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's great to, uh, to be among you today. Uh, just uh, re referring to what Tom has said, uh, you know, after three months as a deputy mayor, I can say that uh, sometimes more relevant than congratulations might be condolences because <laughs> uh, I've never assumed that, the, that it will be so uh, intensive. Uh, however, I highly recommend such kind of engagement to anyone because it gives a lot of satisfaction. Uh, it affects uh, family life and everything because uh, this job absorbs you 24-7. However, it is the only job that I've ever uh, experienced where you can uh, visibly affect and change the reality around you, which is interesting. But um, uh, coming back to the major topic, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, I would uh, I, I will be very brief. My colleague Mateusz, who is uh, I think in sphere of foreign direct investment in cooperation with IT service segments in our cooperation with uh, with uh, Belarusian service sector, Ukrainian service sector, and, and a lot of business entities, who is in my opinion uh, one of the best experts uh, in the country. Uh, however, uh, I will say uh, why am I so grateful and why I'm very happy uh, to be here. Uh, uh, which is a, uh, which is an unusual place. Uh, probably every mayor or deputy mayor says so. However, there is one objective fact. It is, in my, uh, as far as my knowledge goes, the only place in Central Europe. Uh, uh, infrastructurally directly bound with the capital. It formulates a dual metropoly with our capital of Warsaw. We call it Duopolis. And uh, in, in my opinion, it, it puts us in a unique situation where we bind together, I believe, over 4 million people. Uh, this is the, the total amount of this, of, of this duopolis, uh, very closely connected to all possible communicational routes in Europe and worldwide via road, via rail and via air. And uh, these days, logistics or accessibility uh, is not the only important factor. However, I think it's very crucial to our future development and to our current position. Uh, the, the the cooperation with uh, with Belarusian uh, IT te tech or service segment uh, is very broadly discussed in Poland and probably every city uh, would like to be somehow positioned centrally in this discussion. However, there is also one factor that differentiates us from uh, many entities. We already have some empirical and visible, uh, visible successes on this field because we, uh, we managed to attract two IT entities that are already established in our city, which I perceive as my personal and especially my team's great success. And uh, to conclude my part, in my opinion, this unique element uh, that, uh, that, that that refers to us and uh, uh, is our major feature and advantage is our location and accessibility. There are not that many places where you can, uh, within two hours, access directly from Minsk. And uh, my city is one of them. And uh, we would like to exploit, promote this situation and take advantage of it uh, as, as deeply as possible. And I uh, deeply believe that uh, cooperation with, uh, with the countries uh, that surround Poland uh, is uh, is the direction to go, uh, which is uh, which is I think the most culturally diverse and uh, the most complex when it comes to the heritage city uh, in uh, in this area because it 
it has been fully formulated by people of various cultures. It's called the city of four cultures, but it's not only a buzzword, but this is, this is the reality, which was created by the Jewish community, German community, and Russian community in the times of the 19th century economic boom, and it affects city up to this, this very day, which we as city authorities fully appreciate and think that this is our major advantage. Uh, so uh, accessibility connected with the cosmopolitan, cosmopolitan approach and very diverse structure, my opinion, position us, positions us in a, in, in a pretty unique way. And I would like to, uh, to have such conversations, such talks and have the ability to announce such successes like like we already uh, like we already experienced with Godel and Itehart uh, almost every day. I uh, I would love to see as many uh, representatives of the uh, country countries neighboring Poland and not only worldwide in which as possible. And I truly believe that it will be the situation. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me to this event. I uh, keep fingers crossed for this um, for the success of the topic that we are discussing today, and I would like to pass the voice to my colleague Mateus, uh, who who will continue our presentation and speak in more detail. However, uh, uh, I would like to thank you very much once again for this invitation. I very believe in this type of cooperation, and I keep my finger fingers crossed for. Mat uh, for the materializing the, the initiatives that we discuss here. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great day. Mateusz? This Adam Dalej. Okay, hello, everyone. Uh, You're on, okay, we so hear you. Cool. Oh, very good. Hi, okay. Mateusz. So Adam has consumed uh, over half of the time we, we <laughs> is dedicated for the city of Wojciech. So I will walk you through some unique selling points and the major factors that make us uh, a unique location for uh, Belarusian IT uh, services companies. So uh, uh, we are uh, considered to be one of the most important hubs uh, for the eastern communities, uh, east out of uh, Poland. So there is a huge community already existing of uh, Ukrainian people that are uh, living and working uh, in our city. It's what we are very uh, proud of. So proud of. Uh, what makes us truly exceptional is that we have uh, recently launched a Belarusian desk. So there is a dedicated clerk within the structures of municipalities that is taking care of the Belarusian uh, people that are migrating uh, to Łódź. Uh, we have recently uh, published some uh, guides for foreigners uh, just to make this transition from Be Belarus to, to Łódź uh, to make it as smooth as it can be. So we guide you through every every step that has to be taken in order to, to to relocate from Belarus to uh, to Łódź from this perspective of the employee. So Łódź historically was very successful in terms of issuing work permits for the guys from outside the European Union. As you can see on the slide, we are the runner up after the capital market, after Warsaw. So uh, we outperform Krakow and Wrocław that are usually perceived to be to be uh, more attract more attractive uh, for for uh, eastern eastern uh, employees but in fact there are not which is the third biggest city in poland having 700,000 inhabitants uh, we are a very young city with strong industrial roots but right now we are very much focused on uh, on services on it sector especially on Belarusian uh, IT uh, migrating from Belarus to locations uh, of the profile of Łódź, of Poland. So this is uh, was a hot topic uh, recently. So you can see on the slide where are we located on the European map. So as Adam said, we are uh, very, uh, very conveniently uh, connected to Warsaw. 
We are located in like 100 kilometers west uh, out of Warsaw. In fact, in practice, we constitute one metro area because of the convenient train and uh, road connection which is one of the biggest academic uh, hubs in, in Poland. What makes uh, this hub exceptional is the fact that we, uh, we cooperate with business uh, a very, in very successful matter. So we are perceived to be the best uh, academic environment addressing the, the, uh, the um, how to say, addressing the needs uh, of the business. So we are uh, very, very much open to shape the faculties with accordance to the needs of the business, especially IT sector. There is about 1,000 people uh, graduating from the local technical university of which that have this IT profile. So 1,000 people each year are entering local uh, IT market. We as a municipality offer to our investors an unique at national scale program of building the employer brand locally. So we help you out with, uh, with recruiting people, broadly speaking. It's what makes us uh, exceptional. Adam already mentioned that we, we already have two, two uh, Belarusian companies on board that have recently joined our IT sector. This is IT Heart and Godel Technologies. We haven't uh, already uh, communicated it publicly. This is the first time we mentioned it, but uh, it's very important because there are some success stories and references that we can uh, refer to, which uh, as a IT market, uh, business service market has been doing well in past recent years. So since 2016, uh, the, gen the total headcount in this sector has uh, risen by 67%. In last year, additional 2,700 people joined uh, business services sector. Uh, so in total, we have like 26,000 people. Uh, so about 8,000 of those guys are working strictly in IT sector. 30% uh, are working for the business process outsourcing. Some of these roles are, uh, you know, uh, customer service, service desk that are also providing uh, kind of IT activities for external clients. They are not strictly coders and IT specialists, but they are also very important when it comes to describing our uh, IT profile. This is uh, the slide that shows uh, the situation on the uh, job market just before the COVID came up. So you can see the number of, uh, of uh, applications issues, issued in response to, to job offers in IT sector. So whenever uh, an IT job offer has been published uh, uh, publicly, uh, 18, uh, on average, 18 responses uh, uh, were, were uh, coming from, from the market. So I showed this slide to prove that the market is not yet that saturated. There are, there's a significant number of people looking for jobs in IT sector still and are eager to migrate, migrate between companies. Uh, once in a year, which is evaluated uh, in many different criteria by the biggest association of business services sector. So we are one of the leaders uh, in the crucial, uh, in the crucial uh, um, factors that drive the investors into the city. So when it comes to the cooperation of university, the level of support we as the municipality provide our companies with, we are uh, ranked either first or second uh, every year. So where, where you are uh, considering joining our local community, we, you can strongly uh, rely on, on our uh, entity. Okay, we can skip this one. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm kind of worried not to exceed the, the time limitations. So I guess that I have covered already all of the major topics I wanted before the presentation. So uh, I will end uh, my speech uh, by saying that 
uh, throughout the whole day, the whole event, we are uh, waiting for the direct contacts from you. Uh, so we remain at your disposal. So if any question arise during the presentation, please contact us, uh, our team directly uh, via the platform. So thank you for your attention. And I hope that soon we will uh, see each other in, 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 in which. Thanks a lot. In, in real life, see each other, exactly. Mateus, thank you very much. Um, great city, by the way, I love it. Great, cool city developing very quickly and you guys are working hard. And I must say as well, all of you are very responsive. So if people do reach out to you, um, they are likely to get very fast responses back from the city of Wuch team. Okay, we are now on to Moldova as a country and Moldova IT Park. And I think we will start with Natalia. Um, I don't know if you have a presentation or not, Natalia, but uh, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Tom. And uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen. Um, I do have a presentation. Let me just uh, share it. Okay. Okay. Can you see it? Not yet. I think now you One should second. be able to see it. Yes. Okay. So uh, first of all, I would like to uh, to start uh, with a short presentation about uh, Moldova and uh, what uh, does uh, make us a top C location for digital and uh, tech companies. And then I have also invited in uh, our panel, uh, Mr. Luke Vox, who is managing director at the Development Aid so that he will uh, uh, share his experience from the point of view of uh, an investor who is uh, running a business in Moldova for more, more than 15 years. And uh, I am sure he will uh, uh, share um, some highlights which are uh, maybe more practical uh, and um, uh, like a peer-to-peer -peer conversation. So first of all, uh, I would like to mention that Moldova is the fastest uh, growing, uh, um, the IT is the fastest growing industry in, in Moldova and is actually a government top uh, priority. Uh, this is actually the um, uh, reason for which uh, the IT industry in Moldova was incentivized incentivized since 2006 and um, and now uh, the IT industry has a share of 3.1% in our uh, in our uh, GDP. Uh, in uh, 2018, actually, uh, the government has uh, launched its uh, most important initiative to strengthen our regional competitiveness, which is uh, Moldova IT Park, and uh, it was created for a 10 years period. So actually, after three years of uh, being uh, operational, Moldova IT Park has uh, more than 650 companies. As you can see, uh, one quarter of them are companies with foreign capital, uh, and most investors are coming from the US, from uh, uh, UK, Germany, Italy, Netherlands. And um, as you can see, our market uh, size is around 200 million euros uh, per year. And there are more than 11,000 people working now uh, within Moldova IT Park. So actually, uh, it was recognized by the ITU as one of the best global practices in promoting and developing the IT ecosystem. And there were like uh, eight nominations in uh, this sense in 2019. So uh, here is actually why we have uh, got this uh, nomination and what has Moldova to offer to, to, uh, to the IT companies. So first of all, Moldova IT Park is a virtual park, meaning that if you establish a company in Moldova, you do not have to um, run your business in a specific building or office. So if we compare, for instance, to the uh, Belarus high-tech park, uh, which has physical infrastructure in Moldova, you are free to do business wherever you want uh, on, the on the territory of Moldova. 
Secondly, and actually the uh, key concept of uh, Moldova IT Park is around the 7% uh, uh, single tax. We also have an IT visa program and we will soon launch the fund for supporting digital innovation and technical startups. So taking them uh, one by one regarding the virtual presence of uh, uh, the park, as I said, the activity can be carried out anywhere in Moldova. There are no limitations regarding the shareholding capital of the company. So uh, any company from uh, Belarus, uh, from uh, Romania, from well, wherever the world can open a company in Moldova. And I, I think it takes uh, up to three business days and can operate uh, within Moldova IT, IT Park. Uh, secondly, uh, what I uh, mentioned is um, uh, the 7% single tax, which was actually a tax revolution in uh, our country for the IT sector, because the state decided to incorporate all the taxes that are due by the company, but also by the employees. Uh, under the umbrella of this 7% single tax. So actually companies that operate uh, within Moldova IT Park pay a single tax of 7% on their sales revenue, but not less than a, a minimum amount of 125 euros per uh, employee. If we compare uh, actually the, this um, uh, tax burden with um, and the standard rates with what happens in uh, the park we can see here on the uh, left side of my screen the standard tax rates that we have uh, now in moldova and uh, which actually result in a tax burden of 14 25 percent uh, on sales and uh, within moldova it park this uh, tax burden actually decreased by two or three times depending on uh, each company and because I know uh, it is very important for the business to have uh, uh, business productivity and be sure on what uh, happens, we also have a state guarantee, which is applicable uh, five years uh, from uh, now. I know that uh, currently in uh, Belarus, there were some uh, modifications on the uh, tax legislation and those the tax burden for uh, high tech park uh, uh, residents has uh, increased significantly. So I think uh, this point regarding the, the, um, the state guarantee is very, very important. The benefits for the employees is that they actually have uh, their gross salaries as net, so the employees should not have uh, should not ha do not have to pay any additional taxes or um, interaction with the tax authorities. But they also get state health insurance and social security uh, benefits. Uh, of course, due to the to the fact that we have a, a unique tax, uh, we also have simplified administration, meaning simplified tax reporting, tax payment, but also reduced um, tax compliance cost and interaction with the, the state authorities. Um, the uh, second um, incentive that we offer for uh, Moldova IT Park residents um, is it is the so-called IT visa program. And here I would like to mention that uh, Moldova does not have visa requirements for Belarus citizens, so you can enter the country without obtaining a visa. And then if you are an IT specialist, you can uh, get the work permit for two years period. And if you are an IT manager or you are coordinating an IT business within Moldova IT Park, then you can get this uh, work permit for four years. It is also important to mention that if uh, you actually come to work uh, in Moldova for a period of 90 days within six months, then no work permit is required at all. You just have to uh, notify the immigration, uh, the immigration authorities. The third incentive that the state will uh, uh, offer, and it is now on the last, uh, um, on the last. Um, um, Part to be approved by the government is, is a special fund for supporting digital innovations and technological startup, startups by which uh, IT companies will be able to get uh, grants for uh, innovations that they, uh, they develop. 
um, who can become a resident of Moldova ID Park. So ex actually is any business registered in Moldova who derives more than 70% of its sales revenues for act from activities um, eligible in the park. And here, if we refer to the activities that are uh, eligible to be uh, undertaken in the park, you will see on my screen that actually we refer here to all uh, IT related um, services and activities we also have uh, the data processing uh, activities uh, some r d uh, activities and um, um, specialized design activities for those companies which operate in uh, creative uh, industries and which make for instance animations or uh, special effects for uh, uh, for the movies the application uh, process is uh, very simple. So actually, if you have a company incorporated in Moldova, you should meet, you, you just submit an application uh, to the administration of the park with the incorporation documents that you have. And uh, without any application fee, without uh, any business plan or feasibility study, you can become an IT park resident within seven business uh, days. Uh, besides, because I talked uh, about uh, uh, the tax incentives, the immigration incentives, so the, about the legal framework that is very favorable to the IT companies, I would also make some um, uh, points on the infrastructure. And here uh, I refer to the modern stock uh, office stock that we have in uh, Chisinau and which is actually at a very good uh, price. We have offices which are also A plus class. Uh, and I know that for IT companies, this is very important. Should be also men mentioned the high internet speed and the telecom uh, infrastructure. As you can see, uh, the internet download speed in Moldova is even higher compared to other countries in the, in the region. Uh, another important element especially for the IT industry uh, are the people. We have uh, about 15,000 uh, specialists in IT in Moldova. The average salary is of uh, 1,300 euro per, uh, per month. But of course, uh, it depends on the a specific job that the people uh, have. And we also have on the market some uh, specialized uh, salary surveys in which if you acquire, you will probably uh, be able, you, you will be able to, to see uh, what are the exact uh, levels of uh, remunerations. Our people have good uh, technical education and broad uh, technical expertise, but also excellent foreign and uh, language skills. Uh, and Natalia, uh, think... Natalia, let me interrupt you a second. We've got four minutes for this present Moldova in general. We got, got, our, we got our next panel, so in four minutes, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, so here, uh, the last uh, point that I would like to add from my uh, um, side is that we have four direct uh, flights per week from Minsk to Chisinau, which are 1.5 hours, and the, the, the tickets are uh, really cheap, uh, but also we have direct flights to, uh, to all the destinations that you see here and, uh, and uh, not only. Because we have um, a limited uh, uh, Time now, I would like to uh, give the word to Luke and uh, to share his experience uh, why uh, he, as an investor, has decided to choose Moldova for his for running his IT business. In about two minutes. <laughs> okay, look, I employ 200 people here. I've been here 13 years. I started when nothing was easy, and uh, I've seen it change over time. By now, it's actually very easy. I can talk you through all this, this entire presentation, but I can talk you through the administrative requirements in about the time it takes to drink one cup of coffee. Right? <laughs> it's gotten easy to set up and run a company here. It didn't used to be easy. It's easy now. The people, as you saw on the slide, are still very affordable. The taxation is low. What more do you want? That's a pretty good point. What was the driver that made it change? Why did it get easier? Was there some sort of thing that happened that made things get easier? Well, there's been gradual reforms uh, throughout different governments, uh, but the big boom was really the introduction of the IT park. That simplified a lot of regulation. It basically became, there's one rule, uh, a rule set that applies to IT companies specifically. There's one unified tax. A lot of the reporting was dropped. 
so it it got very 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 light interesting so okay it's uh, it's probably i'm hearing stories about georgia ukraine belarus and all of that from whatever i've from all that i've been hearing this is the easiest at the moment what more can you say than that what more do you need to say come check well, it out might, let's, might, let's drink a cup of coffee let me talk you to it through it practically mm -hmm. here on the ground well, I think if you're the Moldovians, if you invite us for a glass of wine, you might get us to come. Let's not have coffee. Let's have some okay. Moldovian wines. Yeah. Well, let's do it. <laughs> okay, guys, we have a tight schedule. Uh, and more than that, to the point, we have German panel next. We can't be late for the German panel. So uh, we are off. Thank you guys very much. Uh, Mateusz, Adam, the rest of the guys, and Wuch, thanks very much. Natalia, Luke, thank you all very much. Stick around. You have some invitations for meeting top right of the hop-in box and over and out. And I'm back on the main other screen in one second.